Looking to save time on your photo editing tax? Ever wondered how you can achieve professional results without spending hours retouching? Curious about the wonders of Skin Finder? Join me in today's tutorials as I explore these questions and more. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more tutorials and valuable tips. Okay, so there are times that you want to edit your pictures faster. You don't have enough time on your hand. Okay, so Skin Finder is what is going to help you. Now, when I take a picture, I normally will tell the client that I'm going to retouch about five or four pictures. Now, the rest of them, what I normally do is that I will use a skin finder. Now, what is a skin finder? It's a software, okay, that helps you to uh, retouch your pictures faster. Now, um, when we go to their website, the home line says it's 39.95 and then the commercial, I don't know how they will know what you're using it for, but with the home line says, you can use it for three machines, okay. Now, you can add this PT portrait to it to get it at this price. Now, the advantage of buying and uh, the with the license key is that it works in Lightroom. Okay, so if you have the license key, it will work, it will work in Lightroom. But if you don't have the license key, you can go to the game to PC to download it. It's here. But one thing is that this doesn't work in Lightroom. It only work in Photoshop. So when you install it, it will come to filter photo toolbox and then you see it. Now let me show you how i use it so let me pick okay let me pick this picture so when i load my picture i can just go and see if there is any spot or pimples there then i can remove it so i can use the spot handy brush tool to quickly remove that you can see some hair here i will do that to remove it now you can just apply the skin finer to the skin so what I normally do is I can just drag this to create a new layer. Then I go to filter, photo toolbox, skin finder. And then, now look at this. This is when the picture is full, you have to let it be full picture. If it's not, then you bring it to where the picture is. So I think this is at the new level. The amount I will increase to hand, the final will increase it. Then I will leave the medium. Sometimes I increase the little, I bring it down because it's going to bring some texture into it so it's always this so i'm using 100 100 and then plus 54 i will click okay then to apply to my skin okay so this is it so if i'm in a hurry i'll just do this and then <laughs> send it or you can reduce the opacity if you think it's too much now let me come to the way i normally use it so what i'm going to do is that i will use this frequency separation i think everybody have the frequency separation action so i will play it okay i'm using 3.5 and then i'll select the low frequency then go to filter and then apply the skin finder to the color that is the low frequency so that my texture will be maintained so i'll increase this Sometimes I even increase the medium now because I have separated the texture from the color. So you can see. Then I click OK. So see how it's coming out. Now if you think there is an area that didn't blend where well, you can go in for your Mesa brush tool. And then just apply it to blend. Okay. You don't have to do anything that much. So just look at this. Yeah, so you save time doing frequencies. You do frequency separation, all right, but you don't have to be doing dodge and bend and all of that. This is a quick way to just restart a picture. Then let me use another picture. So I'm using this picture. There is this oil here, so I'm going to use the remove tool to just take it out quickly. Okay. Then I'll do frequency separation. I'm using four. So I select the low frequency and then I apply my skin finder. And then remember I increase this because the texture has been separated already. And you see automatically the software even select that this is a head shoot. So it's a portrait picture. Then I apply. So you can do your gradient to match your color tone and all of that uh, before even doing this. Uh, yeah, but 
but you can see you can see this let me remove z this is really nice so i can pick my mesa brush to to blend or i do my gradient to match the tones yeah but this is how i use it now as i mentioned if you buy the software and you have the license you can use that in lightroom so if you go to lightroom so for example if i have this picture so let me just pick any of this picture i can export this picture okay so all my pictures i'm going to export i can apply the skin finder to it i want the skin finder to be on medium okay this one it will automatically do it um let me see where i'm saving it so i want to save it here picture skin okay so i select the skin then i export okay because of the skin finder sometimes it takes time now one thing the skin finder can also do is that it's a stand alone software okay so you can go and type skin finder in your program and then you get it when you open it you can load your pictures in bulk and apply the skin finder to them okay that one two works so let me go to my picture yeah so this is it so see see the skin so now you can just remove the pimples you are seeing there and this is good to go okay so yeah if you want to if you don't have time and you want to work on pictures faster you can look at the skin finder option just use frequency separation apply to it and you have a, a nice picture okay so subscribe to our youtube channel i'll be bringing you more tips on how you can edit your pictures thank you